This is what religion teaches, that Jesus can forgive you for your sins, which means that you can do anything you want, and as long as he forgives you, you're all right. So people can sin all day long and for years and years and years, and then when they just say, I'm born again, they think all their sins are forgiven, and that's it. Now they're going to heaven. Do you actually believe that? Um, if you genuinely are sorry for the stuff that you've done and you are genuinely trying to change and genuinely mean what you say and do, then yes. So do you go to church now? Every couple of months or every six months. And, and would you say you follow the example of Jesus? As I said from the start, I'm not the perfect Christian. I backslided, so um, I don't think... Um, God forgive me. If I was to die right now, right, I don't think I would be going to heaven right now. Put it that way. So, so where would you be going? I, I don't know. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's what that's what the, they teach, right? You're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. Yeah, but God knows my heart, as I said, because like I said, that you know. What does that mean when people, a lot of people say God knows my heart? Because as if, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm just trying to make sense of what you're saying. This is where the difference is between believing and knowing. Okay, you, you know what? Can I be real? Please. Right. I am not a messed up person, right? But who defines so, what a messed up person is? What is a messed up person? I can define myself. Like, I don't no, know. but you just said you're not a messed up person. No, but let me okay. get what I'm coming Sorry, from. Sorry, go so, ahead. Yeah. I am not a messed up person. I, I'm, 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 who knows? I'm a good person. I, I will give, I will help, I will sacrifice myself to help somebody else. I'm that kind of person. I've done it many times. You know, I've been, you know, I've been stabbed three times. So, yeah. you know, I just jumping in in the middle of, just to save somebody. Right. You know, so it's, it's one of the ones, I'm that kind of person. I'm, I'm, I'm good at heart. I'm only messed up if you, and it all depends on what you do. I'm, I'm a lot older now. When I was younger, right, I, I, I was really bad. You know, I'm gonna be fighting next year. That like, you know, I'm too old for certain things. I'm, I'm, you know, but if you if you push me, the the the, the beast, the, the devil me will, will awake. The uh, devil, I mean, but it, the devil will awake. Yeah, but it depends. It depends what you do. And when I say depends, it could be, for example, like if you um mess with my mum or family members that that I that that I care for that means a lot to me. They're close to my heart, like you know, my my sister, my brothers, you know. My mum, as I said, you know, my grandma, those are only people that, I care about my family, but my immediate family, that's my immediate family, and I, I will die for them. Right. You know, okay. so you'd have to, you know, do something like that. What, what did you mean when you said the devil was awake? I, 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 I may do something that I, that I don't want to do. So you're the devil, is that what you're saying? I would say I'm a devil, but, you know. you said the devil would awake, as if. In... I will have devil tendencies, and I, I won't think until after I've, Avenged you for for what you've done to and then and then people. and then that would be considered a sin, right? Well, yes, but it is what it is. So then you would go to hell for that. Then so be it. That's my that's you know my my. So family. you believe there's a place called hell that you go to, and you believe there's a devil. Yes, because um, you know I love God, and yes, I know. Why does God need you to love Him? No, let me just. Like, do you know what I mean, you know, the Bible will say, a lot of people say, oh, you know, turn the other cheek and leave it to God. I love God, but look, at them day, God is busy. There's too many God, God is busy. No, 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 there's too many God damn people in this world, right, for God. You, who are you and who is me for God to just come and just deal with my matters right now? Someone has just messed with my mum, God forbid, but someone's just messed with my mum. I, I need justice now. I don't want the police just because all they're going to freaking do is throw you in jail for a couple of years or so, and then you come back out. And, you know, okay, I've done my time. That was a pass. Absolutely hell no. So what would you consider that should be done? You need to be punished um, in the same What's, way that okay, you've inflicted... Um, so you, you believe an eye for an eye, two for two? Yes. Right, not to, turning the, the, over cheek? No. To a certain extent. I, I turn the cheek, um, but it depends on what you do. For example, um, you know... Um, Youngsters of today, if you tell a youngster to go and suck their mum, they want to come to you with a knife and a gun. With me, you can tell them to go and suck my mum all day long. Oh, your mum's a bitch, your mum's this. So you can say what you like. I don't care what you say about my mum. But you put your hand on me or you put your hand on my mother or my family, my immediate family, as I said earlier on, you, you better kill me 
Or is but, they don't tell me about it? Would you say that that's Christ-like? No, that but behavior. no, but so you don't read. So when you said you're Christian, to a certain extent. Okay, you're Christian to a certain extent. Yes. Okay, so how do you define what extent you get you go to? What do you mean? What I'm saying is, like, it depends on what things, kind of Christian you are because they're bad Christians and they're good Christians. I do all things. To be a Christian doesn't mean that a person is really following Christ. To be honest, as I said, I don't think that I that's am... that's what it means, isn't it? You know, a fully devoted Christian, but I know at heart, I'm more Christian than a lot of people that actually go to church that are meant to be holier than thou. Because I don't believe in um, stealing off your own, and a lot of them in church do it. Um, I don't believe in, um, you know, going off with somebody else's um, ex-husband, especially if you and a person was friends, and vice versa. Do you get what I'm saying? And, you know... Um, I've grown up in church and I've seen a lot of that. I've been judged, right? I'm sorry, but I'm just going to be real, like, you know, God forgive me, I'm not throwing shade, but I've been judged for, you know, the music that I sing, the kind of people that I hang around with and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, I've seen a pastor marry, um, marry off a young lady, right, in the church to um, a very well-known comedian, right, that also went to my church, Right. And he was also friends with that same lady that he's married to right now, first um, boyfriend. Mm. 